It's stop number 45 of 56 on the Canadian professional rodeo circuit, and the Cranbrook Pro Rodeo is always a crowd pleaser. We're at the very end of the year, and the uh, Cowboys are trying to get to the Canadian finals, so we often get a very good entry just because they want to make more points. This year's rodeo would feature 183 of the top cowboys and cowgirls around competing in six events over three days, drawing in its share of locals as well as tourists. You see a lot of people you've never seen before and uh, we hope they enjoy it and we'll come back. This was the first time in Cranbrook for Australian saddle bronc rider Ben O'Reilly. I grew up riding horses and stuff so it's sort of probably a bit more natural for me I guess than hopping on a bull or something like that and I get a lot of fun out of it so yeah, it's a bit of an adrenaline rush. The 28-year-old native of Tamworth, New South Wales, recently crossed the pond to join the Canadian tour, which he admits is no walk in the park. It's a lot bigger deal over here than Australia. We've got some really good rodeos, but um, not not as many. And um, yeah, it's it's a lot more professional over here. Win a little bit of money, but yeah, it's it's more a learning curve this year than anything, I think. A veteran bronc rider of 10 years, O'Reilly says the key is to relax and let the horse do the work. It's a huge mind game, so if, if you overthink, um, it's probably worse than anything before you get on. You're better off just uh, letting it all take care of itself, I guess, and just doing your bit, trying your hardest. Rodeo, of course, always has an element of danger, something not lost on organiser Dallas Mackey. What's most exciting for me is to have a successful rodeo where no one's hurt and no animals are hurt. And despite a few bumps and bruises, that was the case once again this year. For Go in Cranbrook, I'm James Farnham. Perfect work, the Kimberly Saskatchewan champion. Yeah.